Happy Friday, Falcons. I'm Cade. And I'm Caitlin. On this week's episode of the NAPO News, we're going to take a flashback to the homecoming dance, a look into announcements with Morgan and Emily, and sports with Nick and Darcy. All this to come in this week's episode of the NAPO News. Last Saturday, September 24th, Nation Forward had its annual homecoming dance. There was a great turnout. Thank you to everyone who made it happen. If you couldn't make it, here's a quick recap of the great night. Wow, Cade, I'm already looking forward to next year's homecoming. I can't wait to be a senior. Everyone looks great, but before we start thinking about next year, we've got some important announcements going on right now around the school. So let's head over to Morgan and Emily to see what's up. What's up, Falcons? I'm Emily. And I'm Morgan with your announcement. Today concludes underclassmen pictures, and makeup dates will be posted later on in case you miss them. Today after school, Girls Golf has an invitational at Northwestern. And tonight, Friday Night Lights for our football team will take place at Clover High School. Tomorrow, October 1st, JV Volleyball has an Invitational in Rock Hill. While SWIM has a regional meet, and our outstanding cheer team has an Invitational in Northwestern. Come out and support our Falcons. The annual food drive kicks off next Monday, October 3rd through October 7th. Be sure to donate food so you can win prizes including a Chick-fil-A breakfast. Next Wednesday, October 6th, seniors wishing to take the FAPSA have the opportunity to take part in a workshop in the auditorium beginning at 6 p.m. That's all the announcements for this week, Falcons. Have a sensational Friday. Back to you, Kate and Caitlin. Thanks, Morgan and Emily. From announcing homecoming queen to catching the dub, last Friday night was huge for our Falcons, just adding on to the best start in Nation Ford football history. I can't believe we're 4-1. Let's head over to Nick and Darcy to learn more. Welcome to The Playbook. I'm Darcy. And I'm Nick. This week we'll take a look back at football's homecoming success, volleyball success this week, and a look into swim and tennis. And we got a special interview with two of our cheerleaders. Our Falcons demolished Indian Land, winning our homecoming game. The offense looked great, putting up 40 points. But our defense looked even better, holding them to only one rushing yard. The crowd was a huge part of the success, staying hyped for all four quarters. 
And as you know, our crowd travels, so make sure you go to Clover and hand them their first loss. Darcy, volleyball's off to a great start. Yeah, but after a tough loss to the Jackets, our girls need all the support they can, so come out and support them this Tuesday. Shout out to the swim team on a great season. Their last meet is this Saturday, so come out and support them, Falcons. And also this Tuesday, senior night for girls tennis. Make sure you come out and support your seniors in their last home match. Last weekend, the cheerleaders had a historic day, winning the Falcon Invitational. Luckily, we were able to catch up with some of our girls and see how their record day went. Um, it definitely helps give the team confidence and lets them know that we're um, having a great routine and that our stunts are hitting and stuff. Um, and it's nice being cheered for because usually we're the ones cheering for everybody. And um, usually we don't have a lot of people come watch our competitions when um, we travel. But you guys should definitely come out and watch us this Saturday at Northwestern. Um, well, this is the first time we've won the Falcon Invitational in years, so it feels pretty good to go out my senior year with a big bang, even though I'm not really participating. Um, I'm just really happy for my teammates that they're doing so well this season. Well, on Saturday we scored a 326 out of 360, which is pretty good. And they based it off for execution, difficulty, and creativity for the overall routine. Even though the Falcon Invitational doesn't affect our results on the state competition, it does help us prepare for the rest of the season and know our strength and weaknesses. Yeah, <laughs> uh, definitely. Um, it'll be broken later on this season for sure. We have to set the standards high for the next season. Kate, get off your phone. We're trying to film the show. Sorry, I've just been looking at the hashtag RealNapo tweets. Oh yeah, I heard about that from some of our reporters. Let's head over to them to learn more. Hey Falcons, I'm Carly. And I'm Michelle. So, two weeks ago we sent out a tweet promoting hashtag NapoReal to document some of your opinions here at Nation Forward. Since then, you have sent us some great tweets, and here are some of our favorites. At Casey Keegan 27 so everyone can break dress code during Spirit Week, and we all learn just fine in class. But after this week, it'll suddenly change? Hashtag really? When your teachers all set a test on the same day, and you worked a closing shift the night before, at William Barr's 64. At Wesley underscore 10. NAFO in a nutshell. Bulletproof Taco. This new dress code has everyone having to waste new jeans. At Noah Carter. Who knew Mr. Johns was on the U.S. national team? <laughs> okay. At Jonathan underscore USC. Miss Pittman. Wearing shorts three and a half inches above the knee on the last day of senior year and getting dress coded. Hashtag really Pam. Hashtag really Jonathan. See, you look really good to see this tweet. I can see you put on day five for real. Which one? Wearing shorts or in house coat. Hashtag really Pam. That's so ironic. But you're sitting in here right now. That's, That's hilarious. hilarious. I've called corn. And my name's not Pam. That's bad. Thank you so much to everyone who tweeted. Starting today, if you would like to be featured on NAPO News, then use our brand new and improved hashtag the real NAPO. Now back to you, Kate and Caitlin. All of our teams are saucing this year. You're right, Kate. Our students work really hard for anything that they wish to accomplish, whether it be sports, band, or even homecoming week. Yeah, even the freshmen brought their A game this past week. With that being said, let's take a look into Spirit Week's 2016 recap.
Shout out to Spirit Club and Student Council for always putting together an amazing homecoming week. It truly was a great week, especially since our senior class did win. Although the seniors pulled out the big win, everyone looked great. You're right, Caitlin. I agree. That's all we have for you this week, Falcons. Have a happy weekend, and we'll see you all next week. Hey, ho, on the road again, moving on.